Hey there, YouTube. Good evening. Cheers. Uh, just drinking some ice water. <clears throat> Hope that everyone is doing well. Um, it's Saturday evening. Uh, just making 7 o'clock. Been home for a few hours, ate dinner. Relaxed, played some records, and thought I'd just get on and do a recent vinyl find video. Stuff that I've gotten in the last, uh, this week, and uh, stuff that I got even in the last couple of weeks that I, uh, before that I didn't uh, include on previous videos. And so, I do have a pretty good sized pile here. Uh, I did find some good deals here lately. So, uh, this will be a two-parter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, I hope that everyone is doing well taking care of yourself in the month of September. Uh, we are acknowledging uh, this month Suicide Prevention Month. And so, there is a link to the National Suicide Prevention Hotline below in the description. Uh, a link to their website. The contact information is there if you need help or know someone that might need help, I would encourage you uh, to give them a call or to uh, uh, encourage others who might be in need uh, to give them a call as well. You don't have to suffer alone. Also, this is National Hispanic Heritage Month. So to all of our Hispanic uh, brothers and sisters watching the video, I'm sorry I didn't acknowledge this sooner. Uh, hope you're having a great month, and uh, thank you for all of your uh, uh, contribution, all of your heritages. I'm trying to say that right, contribution uh, to society. Uh, so, with that being said, um, over the last uh, couple of weeks, I've bought some new records that were sealed, all reissues. Uh, that were sealed from um, uh, a couple of the different local record stores that I go to. So I'll begin with those. One of them fell. Uh, with these plastic sleeves, they don't sit very good. <clears throat> so the first one is an album that I have been wanting on vinyl for a long time. I've had it on CD for a long time, but this is a, a reissue. Curtis Mayfield Live. Curtis Live is what it was called. Is what it's called. It was recorded in 1971 at um, the Bitter End in New York City. Uh, this is a 2023 reissue on colored vinyl. It's it's a two record set. It's on a what they describe as a burgundy slash fruit punch colored vinyl which is pretty interesting but this is what the vinyl looks like this is one of my favorite Curtis Mayfield albums I, I just feel as though Curtis Mayfield is one of the most underrated artists um, of our generation uh, my favorite album uh, by him is the Superfly soundtrack but this is a close second and as I said before I've been wanting this for a very long time couldn't find it on vinyl here locally this was $35 but it was new sealed on this colored vinyl I felt as though it was worth it I did pick up another Curtis Mayfield album at the same record store this is his self-titled album Curtis uh, that was 71 uh, I think this was the year before 1970. Yeah, 1970, I believe. And this, too, was on a colored vinyl. I have a fan going. <laughs> so that's why it's hard to keep it together. Um, and this is on a, a light blue, translucent blue vinyl. Uh, this album, uh, again, I'm a huge fan of Curtis Mayfield. Uh, what I didn't say is on that Curtis Live 
uh, the version there of uh, We're Winners is just, I, I play that, uh, that CD regularly, and that version, I really like it. Uh, this album here uh, contains a lot of great songs, of course, uh, don't worry if there's a hill below, we're all going to go, which I pray that's not the case. Um, the Other Side of Town is a good song. Uh, the Makings of You, uh, Miss Black America, Move On Up, Great Tune, and We People Who Are Darker Than Blue, which is version of We People Who Are Darker Than Blue on the Curtis Live album is really nice. I like that one better, but this version on this album, Curtis, is really worth it. This was $25, very much worth it. Um... Then uh, Explorations, the Bill Evans Trio. This album was originally released in the mid-50s, uh, I mean, sorry, the early 60s, 61. This does include a bonus track. Um, I'm a huge Bill Evans fan. Uh, this is a, a Wax Time reissue from back in 2012, uh, but... It is a wonderful album. Uh, I paid $20 for this. Uh, Haunted Heart, Beautiful Love, uh, How Deep, this version of How Deep is the Ocean, I Wish I Knew, Sweet and Lovely are just some of my favorite songs on here. Features Bill Evans on piano, Scott LaFaro on bass, and Paul Moten on drums. And it is a great album. Can't keep the records together. Here, so I'll just hold them. Dexter Gordon blows hot and cold. This is a 50s album that was released in the mid 50s, uh, originally on the Dutone label. This is a um, jazz image reissue. Uh, yeah, this album was recorded November 11th and 12th of 1955. A great album. Uh, uh, it was twenty dollars. Uh, this is again on the 180 gram um, vinyl. Uh, this uh, original copies of this. This was originally issued on uh, on a red vinyl, and those go for uh, several hundred dollars if you can find them. And I found one years ago before, and I mean like in the 90s, before I really, you know, I've always been a, a huge fan of music, but I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't a fan of colored vinyl always. I, I, I didn't buy a lot of colored vinyl in those days. Growing up, we never had any records on colored vinyl. And so when I saw it on red, it just, and it was, Make it so bad. I saw it at a, a, a thrift store. I want to say for a dollar, but I was like, eh, I, I don't know because I, I wasn't used to seeing. Um, my phone's going off. I wasn't used to seeing um, jazz records on the Do Tone label. That label, uh, the Ducey Williams label, was famous for comedy records. A lot of the uh, early fifties. Um, Red Fox uh, party records were on that label and that's what I was kind of used to at that time and so I didn't take that album seriously If I, I, I'd love to have it now take that one back um, another one the, uh, the Right Touch by Duke Pearson this was a, a Blue Note reissue for $15 uh, I like this whole album I became familiar with Duke Pearson in the early 90s when I first started really collecting music again as an adult after I learned that there was such a thing as um, uh, used record stores. I got one of his records. In fact, it's the one, uh, Sweet Honey Bee, that's on the back of this. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's another reissue that's available. I got this as a CD. At a, I got that as a CD. Really liked his music. Uh, eventually I was able to get that on vinyl 
uh, but I really do like Duke Pearson's music. I think he's one of the uh, great underrated uh, pianists. Uh, and so when I looked at the lineup on this record, which I had, I had heard it maybe once or twice before, some years ago, but uh, when I saw the lineup, Freddie Hubbard on trumpet, uh, Garnett Brown on tr uh, trombone, I'm not familiar with him, James Spalding on alto sax, not familiar with him, what, what wasn't familiar with him, Jerry Dog Jim, something like that on alto sax and flute, wasn't familiar with him, but then I saw Stanley Turntine, tenor sax, uh, Duke Pearson, piano, Gene Taylor on bass, and the great, I think, underrated Grady Tate on drums and not only is he a fantastic drummer but a wonderful vocalist and so for fifteen dollars i said i can't lose this was new sealed uh, i've already listened to it and it sounds wonderful glad to have this in the collection duke pearson uh the last of the new records that i bought that were new and sealed reissues is this uh hank mobley high voltage This is another great uh, record. And this, uh, this one uh, was released in, this is a mid 60s, I wanna say. Of course it doesn't say. No, it doesn't say, but it is a wonderful album. High Voltage, Hank Mobley great saxophonist features uh, the great I think uh, another underrated Blue Mitchell on trumpet Jackie McLean alto sax uh, Hank Mobley tenor sax John Hicks on piano Bob Crenshaw on bass and Billy Higgins on drums uh, just a great record uh, anything on blue note I, I don't think I've ever heard a blue note jazz album that I did not like uh, I've listened to I've only got a chance to listen to side one of this, but it was wonderful. I have no doubt side two will be just as delicious uh, tasting as side one. So that's all of the new records. And this, that was just $18 new and sealed. Uh, so glad to get that. So that's the new stuff. Uh, the other stuff that I got, uh, some of these are upgraded copies for me and others are me just getting them for the first time on vinyl uh, so here's an upgraded copy of uh, dark side of the moon for twenty dollars on the harvest label this is uh, in much better condition than the copy that i have so i was glad to get that uh what do i what can i say dark side of the moon one of the greatest albums um in the history of recorded music uh, a great Pink Floyd record. I, I just said uh, it's, it's an album. I, I don't do drugs. I don't smoke weed or anything like that. Uh, but I can still just put that album on and sit back and relax. And it just, it, it, it takes me away. It's hypnotizing to me without the drugs. Uh, thank God. Uh, here's another record that I was so, I had never heard this one before. It's Otis Redding and the Jimi Hendrix Experience. Uh, historic performances recorded at the Monterey International Pop Festival. This was released in 1970 on the Reprise label and it features uh, performances, one side for each artist uh, from the 19, uh, those recorded in 1967 at the Monterey Pop Festival were recorded uh, June 16th, 17th, and 18th, 1967. Side A is the uh, Jimi Hendrix Experience uh, performing uh, Like a Rolling Stone, uh, Rock Me Baby, uh, Can You See Me, and Wild Thing. His version of Wild Thing on here is wild. I really like it. And then on uh, the B side is Otis Redding uh, doing Shake, uh, Respect, I've Been Loving You Too Long. I can't get no satisfaction and try a little tenderness. I haven't had a chance to listen to the uh, Otis Redding side. I'm a Otis Redding fan. I've played uh, side A with Jimi Hendrix a couple of times. Really great performance. And this was only $3. I was very pleasantly surprised at what I got for that. Uh, no complaints. 
uh, Betty Davis. This is a 2017 reissue of her debut album on a uh, grayish and blue uh, splatter vinyl. Betty Davis is, uh, she was married to Miles Davis. I think they, were, they weren't married for long. They got married in the late 60s. I don't think they stayed married more than two or three years. Uh, but the, the uh, I'm, I can't get my words right. Uh, uh, Betty really influenced Miles quite a bit. Uh, she's on the cover of the girls uh, Filimanjaro album and um, uh, I read somewhere maybe in this line of notes that uh, on the Bitches Brew album Miles Davis wanted to call it Witches Brew and she convinced them to change it to Bitches Brew uh, but uh, she, he, she really did influence a lot of his uh, foray into uh, experimental fusion jazz. She uh, introduced him to psychedelic rock and uh, you know a lot of that music of the of the '60s that I guess he did not listen to. And uh, Betty Davis is just uh, she was way ahead of her time. Uh, when and, and I didn't realize that she was a model too. And when you look at her, you know she could have easily, I think. You know, just put on a nice dress and showed off her body and got some long hair and uh, sang some songs and, and gotten famous. But she did things her way. She made her own music funky as all get out, wrote wrote her uh, music, the, you know, from her perspective. Um, and she didn't find, I don't think, really great success. This was her debut album in 1970. Uh, one I think or 72 uh, she only had three albums out in the 70s two for on the original Just Sunshine label and then one on um, Island I didn't uh, I, until I, I think I read the liner notes on here uh, that I didn't know she got her because I was wondering why why did she release an album on on the Island label but she was dating um uh, Robert Palmer at the time in the mid 70s he helped her to get a deal but uh, what I did read in the liner notes of this record is uh, when uh, someone tracked her down uh, a few years ago before she passed away to to do a documentary on her uh, she was found to be living in Homestead Pennsylvania which is where her mother was from and where she went back to in the late 80s, I'm sorry, late 70s, early 80s when her mother passed, she was living in the basement of a house with no cell phone, no internet, no car, just living a, a very basic life. Apparently she wasn't very wealthy, uh, but my goodness, Betty White, I'm sorry, Betty Davis, Betty White's an awesome lady too. Um, and so I've also ordered uh, her second album, They Say I'm Different, which I have on a CD, but I don't have on vinyl. So that's supposed to be coming in next week. Ooh, we're 18 minutes in, and I still have a pile of records. So let me, I meant to do this fast, I'm sorry. Uh, Gato Bobby Airy, uh, great saxophonist, El, El Pompero on the uh, Flying Dutchman label. This was released in 1971, I want to say. Uh, yeah, and it includes uh, Bernard Purdy on drums, uh, Sonny Morgan on conga, uh, Chuck Rainey on electric bass, and Lonnie Liston Smith on piano. Uh, this is a great album. It's recorded live at Monterey, Switzerland. Uh, I, I got this for $15. The entire album is just awesome. Uh, I've, I've already listened to it. It's a great record. Highly recommend it. Gato Babieri. Uh, the Four Tops. This is uh, their second album. That's the name of it. And this is an upgraded copy for me. This is the album with I Can't Help Myself on it. Um, the same old song. 
uh, uh, other good songs on here is Just As Long As You Need Me, uh, Like Everything About You Since You've Been Gone, and Something About You. Uh, so this was originally released in 65, 66. Yeah, I only paid $3 for this. And this is just an upgraded copy. Um, this is an upgrade for me. Uh, my copy wasn't in great shape, but this one is really good. Uh, Dr. Hook, Bankrupt. This is the album with um, only 16 on it. There's some other good stuff on here, too. Uh, but uh, on the Capitol label, this is a, a really good album. Uh, highly recommended. Ooh, foot was itching. Highly recommended. Uh, Dr. Hook, Bankrupt. I'm trying to move a little faster so I don't have to do a, th a third part. A uh, couple of more. Uh, Europe, Final Countdown. Uh, of course, that song, The Final Countdown, is on here. Uh, it had a ten dollar price tag. He gave it to me for five though, because of this. He said it looked like a dog had gotten a hold to it, so he had to trim it down some. So he gave it to me for five bucks. I only had this on a CD, so glad to get it on vinyl, especially for five dollars. The, the record itself was in great shape, so didn't mind. Uh, this is I bought this used. Miles Davis sketches of Spain great album for $20. This is a I want to say like a 2017 reissue. It's a 45 RPM. Um, Sketches of Spain. I could probably do an entire video on this, but it's just it, it's a musical journey. Uh, I've I would recommend that you listen to this entire album front to back. Just sit back and relax. Listen to it. Um, you won't regret it. Sketches of Spain, 20 bucks um, for this copy. Uh, they do still sell this out there, this 45 RPM, but it usually goes for around $30, $35. And this one was, man, it looked like it was, had never been played before. Uh, Ring of Fire. The best of Johnny Cash. I do like Johnny Cash, especially when he sings spiritual songs. I'm trying to move this along. Uh, and so I only have a few albums from Johnny Cash. I don't collect a lot of country music. Um, I have the live at uh, Folsom Prison reissue on, a, I think, a great vinyl. Um, and I have the live at San Quentin. Um, maybe two or three other albums, not very many of his, but glad to get this one. Um, Everyday People. This is, I would uh, classify as Blue Eyed Soul from the late 70s. I'm sorry, late 60s, early 70s. This one you don't see much of, but it's a really great record. Hard to classify. I call it blue-eyed soul, uh, real soulful. Uh, this was the only album that they ever released. This was five dollars. Well worth it. I really do enjoy this album. So I'm going to end it here. I still have some more records to show. So um, there'll be a part two coming. Not sure if I'm going to post both of them tonight or not. But thanks so much for watching. I just want to encourage everyone. Um, do the best you can to take care of yourselves. Uh, all we can do is the best that we can do. So let's just try and you know be patient with each other, love each other, uh, show grace to one another, to my fellow Christians out there, and continue to stay prayed up, continue um, to just be on your toes because there is uh, evil a brewing out there um, to those who are uh, not Christians, uh, following other faiths or non-believers, just encourage you to lean on your higher power and um, continue to press your way forward. Thank you all so much for watching. Another swig of my ice water here. And I will bid you cheers. Thanks for watching.